but the perfect set is a full range of motion and all the way down. So this is how you do your press. Welcome to Jespis, I'm your trainer Jasper Bravo. On this video, I'm just going to take you through how to do dumbbells bench press the best way with the reason how to do it for you to gain muscles. There are those who do it to carry a, or to lift as much weight as possible. That is very different. That is for power lifters. This one is just for you to stimulate your muscles as much as possible. And I'm going to take you through the mistakes that you must be making when you're doing the dumbbells uh, bench. And you know one thing? That the dumbbell bench are the best compared to the uh, bar. Though the bar has also its advantage in that when you use the bar, you can load it more compared to the dumbbells. But the dumbbells also have some advantages which you are going to see throughout this workout right now. And now, on this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it and how it can help you grow your muscles. And you're starting right now. So, so if you have a pair of dumbbells, you can build very reasonable amount of chest by there. Very huge chest when you just have this one. You don't need so much. You don't need a fully equipped gym. You just need this one. And I'm going to take you through how you can do that. And number one, I want to start with the normal uh, bench, the flat bench and the mistakes you might be making when you're doing this. And there's just a reason why I put for you this bench this so, so you can see it better on how I do it. And I'm going to start, number one, on the place, placement of okay, of how deep you need to go with the dumbbells. And let's start this. Let me tie this one so that you can. <laughs> I can talk. So that I can talk, my people. So that, guys, subscribe so that I can get better. Da whatever. Mike, you see the way I'm just struggling, guys. See what I'm using. But I don't give a fuck. Okay. <coughs> this is it. Now, if you just watch the way I just did that, I know many of you will think that that was a perfect, a perfect dumbbell press, right? <sighs> anyway, number one is a very good, uh, that was a very good one by the way. It's, it's better than what majority of people are doing, or it's just what majority of people are doing. It's, so it's better than what some people are doing. So that one is good enough. With that, you can build some, some decent am uh, amount of muscles on your chest, on your pecs. But that's not the max. Number one, I just want you to know that there's one mistake I, I made. There are several mistakes and I'm going to break down for you them one by one. And number one mistake I made is my presses, if you watch that video keenly, my presses did not get low enough. And the reason why we use dumbbell, one advantage of the dumbbell over the bar is the fact that when you use the dumbbell, you can go really lower. But you know when you go with the bar, the bar will reach somewhere here and it will hit your chest. It can't go past this place. Understand? Because it, it can only be parallel to your chest. But when you go with the dumbbells, because there's nothing connecting these two weights, you can go as much as this low. And if you saw that, and so if you always do dumbbells the way I just did, then there's no difference. If not worse, there's no difference between you and the somebody who does bar. And sometimes even the person doing bar is doing it better than you. Because let me just explain in, in detail now as I do it now. Tie like that. We tie like that. Very nice. Very nice. Now this is it, guys. This is it. <coughs> now, this is what I did the first time. Now see, this is how low most people get. This is how low most people do and I get. Now, if you look at my arms, you can clearly see that my arms, the highest my arms have gotten is somewhere here. You see this far? This far. So it means my arms, you see? So which means if I was using bar, the bar could be here. And normally when we're using bar when you're doing uh, the press, we shall get this close. So already 
if I'm getting my dumbbells this deep, it means already the bar is better than whatever I'm doing. I'm not even getting the advantage for using the dumbbell. So what do I need to do to fix this? I need to get lower. I need to get here. When I get here, you get to where my arms is. It's so low. And you can see the stretch on my pecs. And this is what makes your pecs to grow. So they stretch all the way here, all the way up. Whew, that was, that was already tiring enough. Yeah. So, so let me explain to you guys when I'm standing. So this is what I'm talking about. When you go with the bar, you can only get until here. Otherwise, you see this place, it will be parallel to the bar. But when you use the dumbbells, we need to go this far so that we stretch the muscle. Because this is the most important part of the muscle. This part. So that's the advantage of using the, the dumbbells. So anytime you're using the dumbbells, when it's flat, make sure you get here. This far. Then you pull on the way up. Here. Then, so let me show you the second mistake that you people usually make. This one is usually common even when people are using uh, the bar. Let me do it. The next mistake that guys usually make, this one people make even when they're doing the bar, uh, the bar, uh, push, uh, press, is this. Eh? I don't know if you'll notice it. This is it. So instead of finishing it up here, guys just leave it at this place. But the perfect set is a full range of motion and all the way down. So this is how you do your press. Up, down, up, down, up. Another thing that I need you also to know is that your shoulders, when you're doing your press, your shoulders need to be back. Don't do, when you put your shoulders in this place, when you press like this, let's say you're pressing and you press like this, your front pecs tend to do most of the work. But when you put it down like this, so instead of putting it here, you put it here. Instead of putting it here, put it here, and it below. So it's like this. Huh? It's easy to explain when somebody's seated. Back and down, not up. When you put it up, it will take over. If you put it in front, it will take over. So it's back and down. Back and down. Back and down. So mine is automatic because I'm used to You see, it just goes on its own. But many of you, when you're setting, you'll make this mistake. Most of the time, you'll be pushing like this. Instead of putting this in, you'll arc your back a bit. Also, you make sure that your, your back is in a situation where you can put your arm down here. There's that space. There should be some space. So you should arc your back a bit like this. And for the reason for doing that is for your chest to come out. When your chest is out like this, it does most of the work. Because chest is one of the laziest muscles. It tends to let other parts of your body do the work. So when you're doing chest, that's why many people, when you go to any gym, you find that many people are carrying, lifting very heavy weights on the bench, but they have very tiny chest. Because they, most of the time you find that the chest is not doing much of the work. It's just the shoulders and the triceps. So to eliminate that, you put it behind and you do this. So let's do a perfect one so that you can see. And then another thing, I think you could also ask it, what happens when the dumbbell is too big? Because sometimes when you're doing your press, let's do this. When you do this, you find that when you're using those huge, like let's say it's 40 kilograms and above, it will tend to touch your chest here. So it doesn't allow you to go really low. So what you do with that is, you just open your chest a bit, just open it a bit so that it, it comes be, beside your chest, not on top of your chest, so that it allows you to go as low as possible. So instead of putting it here, you open your chest like this so that this our press goes all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way. Feel the stretch, squeeze at the top, feel the stretch, squeeze at the top, feel the stretch. Squeeze at the top, just like that. <coughs> if you do that, and apart from that, you make sure that you are doing high reps. If you are, if your reason for working out is you want to build chest muscles, you need to, you need to do for high reps. That is at least eight reps to 15, 20. It's okay even to do 30 reps. They'll help you build those muscles. So that's how you do your chest. 
and that's how you, you use your dumbbells to do your chest and with that by the way you don't even need to have really heavy dumbbells even 15 you can see here i'm using 15 kg and i trust me if i do this and do 20 reps in each and every set it's going to be crazy and if you do that stretch trust me you're going to, not going to carry as much as i usually lift because most of you guys do those you do those shallow reps then you fool yourself that you're, you are really lifting really heavy weight but now if you really think that you're really strong if you think you're a strong mama's boy okay try this 15 go all the way down and then go all the way up then let me know if you be able, you'll be able to do 20 reps if you're able to do that then salute for you but otherwise for any other person who is not able to do that this is just your time just but the good thing about this is if you just discovered this it means that your chest are just about to start growing because trust me with this you're going to grow chest that you can never think of you're going to be the person with the biggest chest in your gym. So let me see you in the next one.